What's one thing you like about Italy? Okay, so how it works is an agent usually calls me in the summer. What happens is then he tells me a little bit more about the team, about the management, and of course he tells me the city and the country where it's located. And of course as a player, that's one of the first things you do is when they tell you the city, you, you go and Google it. You go to see where it's located, what it looks like. Um, you click on the Google images and, and you get to see what the city looks like. So that's exactly what I did as well. So the first thing when you get to a new country, uh, or just like a new place in general, you have to get adjusted to the environment. And when I get to a new place or a new country, new city, whatever, first week I'll just go walk around and see where the stores at, where the parks are at, where I can chill, hang out, read my book. So then it gets to the point where you start feeling comfortable taking public transportation to other cities to explore more and keep stepping out of that comfort zone. Which leads me to running into another kind of scenario, which is the language. How you feeling? Oh, I'm in heaven. The food, the water, the people. One thing, one thing about Italians is that they're they're they are hot people, but they are amazing people. They are really friendly. They're willing to help. They're very. They speak very much with their hands. So a lot of the times, even when you don't understand what they're saying, you can tell a lot just by their signaling of the hands what they're trying to say. And of course, there's nothing better when you get to share these kind of moments like, you know, with the people that you love. I had the opportunity to play down south in Salerno for, I don't know, I spent there like two months before COVID hit. And what I noticed between playing down south and playing up north is that a lot more people speak way better English up north, probably because of the tourists. And so it makes it a little bit easier to communicate with the locals, especially when traveling. These waves are just insanely gnarly. Oh my. So what does my life look like in Italy? Well, besides the fact that I play basketball here and I have the ability to, you know, not only meet amazing Italians, uh, just all kinds of people from all over the world, but what I love mostly is that it, the weather, like the weather that's, I mean, I've said that in one of my first videos when I first got here is just, that was the main reason I wanted to come here is because it's always warm, it's always nice. That plays a big part why I love it here, why life in Italy and especially in La Spezia is amazing. Mm. Oh, that's it. Another cool thing that I love about Italy is that they have coffee shops everywhere and no matter what coffee shop you go to, the coffee is always amazing. So all in all, I mean, I, I really, I love it here. I really do enjoy my time because, like I said, whenever I don't play basketball, I'll go visit the different cities. And the best part is definitely living by water. It's like a cherry on top. You know, the food is good. The language is, I'm learning the language. The weather is outstanding. And the people are great. They're friendly, they're helpful. And the scenery, like that's, that's the best part, the scenery. Sunsets, views. The fact that I get to play basketball, the game that I love, and travel, and then on my free time do the things that I want, like I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm just really happy. And you know, I also have visitors that come and visit me. I just, 
life is really good. Life, life is, life in Italy is amazing. We got a little bit of a drive home. We also got to catch a bus. La Spezia is one of those cities where the weather can change really fast. It's hailing. I think we're stuck, at least until the rain stops. And it does not look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Oh.